Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifiers, which is India's best and most affordable CAD coaching. Now, before I discuss the solution for this question, let me quickly tell you that if you are a serious CAT aspirant, here are some of the things which you should do. It, it will help you a lot in your preparation. Other than this, students, if you want to receive important notifications on your WhatsApp related to different colleges and different exams, then please fill the link below given in the description. Other important links are also there itself. Now, let us come to the question. I hope uh, all of you have tried it. It was a very easy question. Onion is sold for five consecutive months at the rate of 10, 20, 25, 25, 50 per kg. So let me write the price 10 rupees per kg. Rupees per kg. 20 rupees per kg, 25 rupees per kg, 25 rupees per kg, and 50 rupees per kg. Now it is given a family spends a fixed amount of money for each of the first three months and then spends half that amount on onion for each of the next two months. So let's assume uh, that the family spends 100 rupees each for first three months. So let's say amount spent is 100 for the first month, 100 for the second month, 100 for the third month. So for the next two months, they will spend 50 rupees. So 50 rupees for the fourth month and 50 rupees for the fifth month. So how much quantity will they get? So amount is 100 rupees. Price is 10 rupees per kg. So can I say quantity would be 10 kgs, right? 100 rupees divided by 10 rupees per kg. So 10 kgs quantity they'll get in the first month. Similarly, 100 by 20, they'll get 5 kgs. 100 by 25, they'll get 4 kgs. 50 by 25, they'll get 2 kgs. 50 by 50, they'll get only 1 kg. So what is the total amount coming out to be? Total amount is coming out to be 400. So for 400 rupees, what is the quantity which they are getting? 10 plus 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. So which comes out to be 22 kgs. So 22 kgs for 400 rupees. Now what do we need to find? We need to find average price per kg. So answer would be 400 divided by 22, which comes out to be 200 by 11. So approximately 18 because 18 into 11 is 198. So option number three is the correct answer. One of the easiest questions, right? Students, thank you everyone.